You know, what's so interesting is he, we're not the only people talking about Trump. You know, the media is always attacking. You're always, you're obsessed with Trump. It's always about Trump. Trump has gotten into the heads, not just of the media, but of the president himself. President Obama held an interview the other day with some YouTube people guaranteed to ask him softball questions, which they did. What's one of the first things he talked about? Donald Trump. Watch this. A lot of times you'll have people who are seen as front runners. Right. Because they're noisy, they get a lot of attention. Correct. Over time, voters take a careful look. The closer you get to actually deciding on a president, mm -hmm. everybody gets a little more sober. It's less entertainment, okay, like and it's like a little that. more, you know, this is serious business. This person is going to have the nuclear code. The YouTube reporter liked that. He liked that answer. He nodded. He agrees. You know, I don't know. I mean, people criticized the president a few years ago when he went that he did that web that web interview and he did some fun stuff Glozell. online with uh, Glozell, but he also did uh, with uh, Zach Galifianakis. Uh, Galif Galifianakis. Galifianakis. Yeah, the between two ferns, and we saw his poll numbers go up. Look, young people aren't watching TV. The bottom line is they're getting their they're, they're watching web video they're watching YouTube I don't know you know a kid who's go, graduates college that gets a cable box sadly um, so this question though came up on YouTube about Fox News Channel and divisive politics watch this on YouTube the problem is is that when when we get to our politics for a whole host of reasons uh, a lot of it having to do with the fact that. Uh, you know, our media is now splintered, and so some people, they're just watching Fox News, some people are just reading the New York Times, so they're not, they don't even start with a common baseline of facts. Uh, they almost occupy two different realities in terms of how they see the world. Well, yeah. part of that is because the president picks and chooses, he cherry picks which uh, headlines to come out and speak about. Last weekend, we were telling about the Philly cop who was um, uh, almost assassinated by a guy who pledged his allegiance to ISIS. It was crickets from the White House. Yet if there's ever anything that fits his gun control narrative, he's out there beating his chest. Well, that's totally true. And his obsession with Fox is really striking. So Fox is one television network among many. It's the biggest. But it's one among many, one among countless media outlets. How many times has the president gone after Fox? in the seven and a half years he's been president. I mean, mm. talk about obsessed. Right there's, from the beginning. Right, there's one news channel that covers him as journalists should, skeptically. You should always cover people in power skeptically. We do, and he can't handle it. He can't tolerate it. He thinks it's an offense to him. When he says there's Fox News, and then there's other, you know, other, right. uh, other places. Yeah, I, I know, I think more people are watching Fox News than these other little Yeah, yeah but, but that's, the problem with going on YouTube is not the medium. I don't have a problem with him going on YouTube. That's great. It's that he refuses to sit down with people who ask him real questions. And I hate that. I mean, be a man. Sit down. Take a real question from a real reporter once in a while, would you? Maybe. Well, last Super Bowl like Sunday, he sat down with Bill O'Reilly. We're almost Super Bowl time. It's been a year. Maybe Super Bowl Sunday. We'll see another Bill Yeah, but that's because it was broadcast on Fox, wasn't it? I mean, well, isn't that who usually gets the interview on Super that Bowl? That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. All right. We'll see.